G'day guys, Michael here. Uh, today we're going to learn about edge rounding and the recent um, open sub that has recently been implemented into Octane. Uh, so let's go through uh, the edge rounding first. So I have these primitives here. Uh, we're going to add just a random texture to them. Diffuse. And in the options, you'll see this edge rounding uh, slider. Now let's get right close up to it just to see. Now, if you were to put it to 10 or 20, it will automatically not work. Um, that is due to the reason that the edge rounding values is only between 0 and 1. So if we put that back to 0, and we put 0 0.1, you can see the effect that it's having with the objects that is edge rounding. So if we put that to 0 0.50, so let's just put it back down to 0. Alright, now 0 0.050. 0 0.1 0 0.2 whoop, 0 0.5 and let's go to the maximum 0 0.009 so it adds a smoothing a deform to your mesh even though it doesn't uh, change any of the mesh within itself and from my readings here it doesn't seem to be putting any more bottleneck onto the um, memory card. So yeah, very useful. Well, I'm sure you can find some use out of that. Um, next is the open subdiv that has been released to Octane. Um, so let's do that. Uh, let's select the let's select the square. Now, in order to access the open subdiv, we're going to have to go to P cube shape one. Uh, go to the extras attribute. If you see a hair color connector in the wrong one, because that's also in the extras attributes, but that's when the that's within the cube one. We want the shape. Change the geometry type from global to movable proxy. And then we're going to put the octane level to 1 and press refresh. As you can see, without changing the viewport uh, mesh, it is changing, physically changing the mesh itself to a more smoothable shape. This can put so much less stress on your viewport viewing and you can also um, preview that to an extent within Maya itself on the pro on the on its own little proxy uh, preview but it's now possible within Octane so you can see a fully rendered uh, preview of your mesh without needing to have that same um, bottleneck within the viewport uh, it does carry on to the memory though just keep that in mind uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.